Welcome or welcome back to Modern Medieval, the podcast. I'm Ello. And I'm Megan. And this week, if you can believe it, we are doing a year-long recap because we just passed our one-year birthday slash anniversary of releasing our very first episode on July 2nd, I believe it was. Which is crazy because, I mean, what aside from the very bizarre year that it has been, it's also... We've grown so much within our podcasting skills. I hope you agree. Um, <laughs> but like just in terms of nerves and preparation and comfort and discussing an idea, I feel like we've blossomed in a way. Yeah. I mean, I remember before we did the very first episode, you know, or getting medieval or getting modern medieval on your ass. I remember being so nervous and yeah. I had so many notes and kind of. Also, just the general fear or stress that everyone has of uh, my voice being recorded and people listening to it. Why? Yeah. <laughs> no one's going to want to listen to my voice. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't think I've gone over that. Like, I think that, you know, when I edit my voice, I'm like, oh, I hate this. And in fact, I think it may be like... Um, it informs how I speak because I don't think I like to speak very much because then I have to hear myself speak so I'm like no I'm gonna speak the like say the less I can and like say as concisely and perfectly as I can and then just shut up <laughs> yeah I mean I listen and I think ah I should do that and then when I'm doing the editing I go Megan shut up no one <laughs> cares <laughs> but you know, this is our 40th, uh, if not episode, like recording out in the universe to you. We were talking, I think there's like a trailer thrown in there and another blurb when we first went on our very first hiatus when we were finishing yeah. up the dissertations at UCL. But nonetheless, this is at least according to our podcast hub that we do our releasing into the world on on Podbean. This is number 40 or will be number 40. Yeah, it's insane. so fifty-two what year? weeks. Yeah, and like you said, just so much has happened. I mean, the pandemic—you know, ebbing and flowing. You've moved. I've moved, and I'm moving again <laughs> next yeah. week to another place in Manchester. You have started a new job. I started a PhD. Yeah. Like, no, it's been mad. mad. Yeah, it's but been a lot. This has been such a lovely grounding kind of cathartic. Oh, I get to escape everything and talk about random. Something really random, yeah. Yeah, from movies to telling medieval jokes to, I don't know, having amazing guests. I still can't believe that we had Professor Emeritus Stephen Murray on with yeah. us. And then we also had um, Turnip of Terror, which was really like, such different types of guests but like both equally fascinating in their own yeah, right Yeah, definitely and then you know we've had friends come on my friend joe we've had amelia twice we've yeah. had <laughs> janina who was our very first one who was a champion and helped us get over the interviewing nerves yeah she was great and i think so, I, yeah. I i kind of wish i were janina like that oh, me too um, she's amazing so articulate Definitely. And yeah, it's just been great. And also, you know, the support we've gotten, not just from friends and family who are obligated to support us. I know my family has at many times gone, I don't know what you're talking about. I just play it so that we can help your algorithm. And I go, thanks. That's all you really need to do. <laughs> but we've also, you know, as we mentioned, when we interviewed Professor Stephen Murray, that they reached out to us. We were found which is just still flabbergasting because, you know, that was 10 I agree. episodes ago. We're, and we're still just a small little side hobby, if you will. Yeah, very fun, like side fun. Yeah, but I've also learned so much. And I hope that in our ramblings and musings, we've been able to share some information and, you know, maybe touch upon something new for people. Yeah. And I hope that you've enjoyed the episodes because we've definitely enjoyed making them. But yes, it's definitely. never really that easy to be objective over something that you've created in the positive and in the negative. So I hope that it's entertained you in this year. That's definitely been a bit challenging for everyone. Yeah, definitely. And 
as we're moving forward, we have decided to go bi-weekly, giving us the time to not only have a little bit more time dedicating research or mental capacity to the podcast rather than trying to figure out something each week and doing it morning of or day of. Yeah. But also because we do have lives, which has been exciting that weekends matter now (laughs) in a way they they didn't before. (laughs) Yeah. And I think also it will give us the opportunity to be actually really enthusiastic every time we do it because it will be a treat. And so Mm -hmm. it will be reflected in how we speak and how we talk about it. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, just more informed. And because we've grown so much, this hopefully also gives us, you know, being enthusiastic, but also kind of ready to get down to business, if you will, where each episode will kind of, yeah, be a special little gift, a moment of, okay, I actually did some reading and work and want to talk about it as articulately as possible. Yeah. While also still having fun. And yeah. We have some exciting, you know, episode ideas for the immediate future or next six weeks, if you will. (laughs) Um, Ella wants to dive into Beowulf and I'm all for it. So that'll be fun. uh, If you have any questions, actually, that you'd like us to touch upon, please let us know, because obviously it's just Megan and I and we just sit there and chat together. But obviously any other perspective or anything at all, just let us know. Yeah, suggestions, online resources that are like interactive. I also said, oh, we should try to watch that Beowulf film that came out in like 2009 or something. The weird CGI one with Angelina Jolie, just to see like what it's like compared to the source material. Yeah. And then being very excited for The Green Knight coming out in August here in the UK. We want to do a two-part episode kind of series I guess I don't know if two episodes counts as a series a two-parter a double feature yeah maybe yeah Uh, that that, that's like the more official way of saying (laughs) so yeah like a double feature podcast episode release of the green knight the first one focusing on the actual medieval tale sir Gawain and the green knight looking at that and then the second one having seen the film responding to how you know air quotes medieval it is or how it's reinterpreting the medieval and because I have a lot of medieval friends now being a medievalist and they're all very excited for the movie so that makes me excited and want to share that here I also feel like I just said the word medieval so many times back to back (laughs) it's fine it's part of the title isn't it (laughs) but I guess before we close on this brief little episode is there anything Ello that you either want to reflect on or maybe this will be fun to do like a goal for the podcast for the upcoming future I think that um this year I've gotten back into reading Mm -hmm. uh, which has been such a treat for me because I've always been an avid reader and then went to uni and read so much and then I think I was just like can't read anymore um so maybe combining more literature for me would be like a goal to aim for and therefore like reading something from such a different time and you know when you read and you feel like a connection to the the written word but it's so strange because it was written so long ago I kind of would like that to be a bit a bigger part of um, the podcast going forward if possible yeah I am in full support of that and even though I do medieval studies it is always great to kind of get out of my little bubble in regards to that and for me I think goal-wise this is a bit more ambitious I guess but this is something we've discussed trying to get some more guests to come on Mm. you know re-reaching out to Professor Robert Mills to Bob seeing if he's available to come on maybe some more uh like PhDE friends or reaching out to other medieval podcasts yeah Um, just seeing uh because it is such a wonderful community and I've thoroughly enjoyed speaking with our guests that have come on in their perspectives and learned so much. And I think it's also a break for our audience from our voices. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, maybe just having a few more um, academic guests, if you will, or medieval living guests. No, that would be really fun. That would really be fun. We'll just have to see what this year brings. Yes, definitely. And 
yeah, I just hope that people continue to enjoy listening to us and sharing this experience with us. And yeah, as always, reach out to us, which you can do by... So if you've enjoyed this podcast and if you want to learn more about us, you can listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, um, Audible, just type Modern Medieval Podcast. Our Instagram handle is podcast.modern.medieval. We've also got a Facebook account and just type Modern Medieval Podcast. Um, We've got an email address, um, just type modern.medieval.podcast at gmail.com. And finally, we've got a Twitter account. Yes, you can find us on the handle at medieval underscore modern on Twitter, where uh, I try to stay involved, but I forget about Twitter and then I get really involved and I forget. But please tweet at us, message us, ping us, yeah, at us. And also, yes, definitely a lot of the guests that we've had have been through our socials. So let us just you know what you you think you might think that it doesn't make a difference to us but actually really does and it informs our podcast so yes definitely please, please get in touch and also just the small messages we've gotten as people saying oh I really enjoyed this episode it's very motivating and uplifting it always makes our day so yeah thank you and thank you. thanks for hanging on for a year with us until next definitely. time I'm Megan and I'm Ella, and this is Modern Medieval Podcast. Do, 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 do. Happy birthday. Um, if you want to reach us, you can find us on social media. We've got an active Instagram account. Our handle is um, modern.medieval.podcast. Um, we've got... Oh, I got that. <laughs> Other way around. Oh, yeah. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I swear, like it's this confusing. is it's for okay. some reason. I don't really know why. <laughs> anyway, um, you can find us on Instagram by typing modern.medieval.podcast. We've got it's podcast.modern.medieval. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, sorry.